I'm making this video in an attempt to sell my business. My business is A1 Man Excavating, a business I started in my retirement. I uh, carried it on for four or five years now, I enjoyed it, but I think it's time to move on. Uh, solid concept, the idea that one man can run an operation without having employees, I think is a very desirable thing in this day and age. Uh, in many cases, you'll work with, uh, with a homeowner and that's kind of a, uh, a fun thing to do also. Uh, but anyway, we'll go through these one by one. Later on, there'll be an extensive video that shows you all this equipment and how to take it off and on my trailer and some, some basic hints on how to use it. Uh, probably overkill, but it's gonna kind of serve as a manual. Anyone that buys this business can use my video as a manual to, uh, to use things efficiently and avoid the many mistakes that I made. I'm gonna start with my trailer. This is not my trailer. This is a comparable trailer to actual uh, 12 to 14,000 pound uh, trailer that lists for $10,000. Uh, I have a clear title to it. And here's a picture, a not a very recent picture of my trailer after I added an axle and, and welded all kinds of things on it to accommodate the equipment that I have. So this one's gonna be a little different. I'm gonna go 50% and say, I'm gonna sell the trailer for $5,000, but I'm gonna add $2,000 to that because of the, the numerous accommodations that you will see eventually when you see the video so that you can take all of your equipment with you and operate this business in a very efficient math, manner. Uh, once you see it all, I think you'll see that, that this would be a deal that if you bought a new trailer for $10,000, you'd probably have another $10,000 if you paid a professional to to add all these things on that I did. This is a three and a half yard dirt pan built by DuraBuilt. Uh, $10,000 $10, is the list price right now. Uh, mine had very little use and I didn't use it an awful lot. Uh, so I'm gonna sell it for $5,000. It works perfectly. Here's a grapple bucket comparable to mine. Uh, you can see the price is $33.50. Here's my grapple bucket, uh, and I will sell it for half price, which would be $16.75. Here's a six-way dozer blade, and so the formula is going to be a little different here. I'm not selling a six-way do dozer blade. I'm just selling a a tilt blade that I built. Now I built this from scratch, but it's very, very heavy duty and works very well. Here's a little example where I, I built a berm for a neighbor. Uh, it will not turn your tractor into a bulldozer. This required several passes and some back dragging and stuff like that. But with patience, you can do some really clever stuff with the tilt and, and adds quite a bit of, <coughs> excuse me, quite, quite a bit of versatility to the tractor. Uh, so I'm going to take their price, and because I don't have an angle to it, just a tilt, I'm going to divide by three, and my price for this is going to be $25.85. Here's a land leveler attachment. Now mine has a scar fire on it, so what I did there is I took their basic price and added the scar fire, and then so their price for an comparable thing would be $35.50. Here's mine. Again, I built this from scratch. Very heavy duty. I'm sure it's heavier than the one they're selling. Uh, here's an example of something I did with it. Uh, after I leveled everything, then I, I set it up in more or less a vertical position and furrowed the ground perfect for a seed bed. So the price for this thing is going to be $17.75. Here's an extendable boom. Uh, I built one for my tractor and kind of thought I invented it, but now there's one on the market and they want $29.50 for this. Uh, it has a hydraulic ram that extends it and so does mine. Here's a picture of mine when I was just kind of testing it out, seeing how much I could lift. I think uh, there was about 500 pounds on the end of that. Uh, of course, I was limited to my tractor and your tractor uh, could have quite a bit more power there. Uh, here's kind of what I intended to use it for more than anything, hang trusses, that sort of thing. 
and uh, there's a number of attachments that you can use for this. The truss has kind of a hook that allows you to just release it real easily. And with my tractor, I get about a 17.5 peak height. With a little bigger tractor, you get more height, obviously. And if you had a little stronger tractor, uh, it would be feasible to add some an extension to that that would, that, that would uh, give you quite a bit more height. Here's a snow plow. Now the snow plow that I built will not go on the trailer or wouldn't be carried on the trailer under normal circumstances. Of course, it could go on the trailer. Uh, here's mine, which I built from scratch again. Uh, again, guaranteed much higher than the one, much heavier than the one you just looked at. And I'm gonna ask 1563 for this. This has hydraulic angle to it. Here's a set of forklift uh, pallet attachments, and I have a pair that's comparable, and I will sell for 427. These were factory made. I have a tooth bar that goes onto my my standard bucket. Uh, this is exactly the tooth bar I bought several years ago, and the price right now is 557. I'll sell it for 278. Okay, the rest of the, uh, the snow plow uh, attachments would be the, the blade that goes on the rear. And uh, Heavy Hitch, there's a new company named Heavy Hitch that makes something real similar to what I have. Here's a blade uh, that they sell for $4.93. Here's the hitch itself, and the blade just slides into this, as does mine. And uh, it sells for $2.90 and then you just start adding weights to it. And they're getting about $1.41 per pound for their weights. Now my weights don't look like this, as you'll see. So I'm gonna figure those at, at half price. And so here's the end result. Okay, here's the hitch, just clamps onto your three-point hitch. Uh, it has, uh, some of the weights are already on there, plus I have some additional ones that can be added. And so I'm getting 246 for the blade, 145 for the hitch, and a 300 pound, 310 pounds of weight, I'm gonna add $217 to that. The last thing, this is kind of a chariot picker attachment that goes on to the, to the adjustable ram uh, that I have. Here's another picture of it. And of course this picture wasn't fully extended I'm going to sell this for $30, and here's the reason why. I've used it. I've had it all the way up and been in that bucket when my wife was in the controls. And it, I'm not telling you it's not a little scary, but it works very, very well. It's solid. But I don't want to take any liability for this particular product, not because um, I, I doubt the welding or anything else, just just because it's, it's something that somebody could get hurt on. So... I'm gonna let this go for $30, which I consider scrap metal price. And it'll be very clear in a bill of sale that I'm selling this as scrap metal so I don't have any liability.